20 years old and dying, Gavin Finch had no symptoms, no indication that his kidneys were failing. Now he goes to dialysis three times a week and without a kidney transplant, dialysis is the only thing keeping him alive. You wanna hold my hand? As soon as you get over, you know, it mentally, physically, it's not nearly as bad. It's a necessity 20-year-old Gavin Finch never anticipated. I have a feed line for the catheter in my chest that goes into the machine and it drips through that cylinder right there, and that's my artificial kidney. A trip to the doctor earlier this year changed the course of life barely lived. And the day after that, they called and they said, you have to go to the emergency room right now. You're at 23% kidney function. Diagnosed with a rare kidney disease with no real symptoms. And for a boy who grew up healthy, this was shocking, even to his doctor. I'm not trying to freak you out, but I don't know if we can treat this. This is something that we see maybe four times in our whole entire career. He is the youngest I have ever done. So 20 years old is the youngest. Now three times a week, dialysis is how Gavin stays alive. Was there ever a point where you, at 20 years old, thought I might die? Everything happened so quickly that that thought really didn't get to set in, right? I went from a routine surgery to your in kidney failure to dialysis. I mean, everything was just such a blur that there really wasn't ever a time to sit down and process it and really think like, man, this is really happening to me. I could die. Gavin settles into the steady rhythm of the machine, giving him one more day with hope he's one day closer to a new kidney. Just one of those things where just holding on until it's over and then when it's over it'll make me a better person and give me a better appreciation for life and what I do have. No kidney match for Gavin yet. His family members are not matches and so his weight continues. And no symptoms at all, which I, is, a, is a frightening part of this story. Does anybody have an explanation for this? Doctors, anybody? It is a rare, rare kidney disease and he was probably born with it and it just happened that he went in for a hernia surgery and they're like, we've got a big problem. There's nothing that he did to cause it and there's nothing that he could do to prevent it. Well, we sure wish him the best, uh, he and his family. Just an unbelievable we story. Yeah. All right.